So I'm going to start by showing you how to create a custom workout for a single exercise. Say if you want to customize your outdoor run or a swimming workout, for example. If you're looking to create a custom workout that incorporates various different exercises, say a run and a swim, well, I'll cover that in the second half of the video and you can skip ahead using the time tags in the description below. All right, let's get started. So to create a custom workout on your Apple Watch, we start by modifying an existing workout. Apple has pre-populated the app with pretty much every single type of workout available. But if by some miracle you still can't find your particular sport or exercise, there's also an option for other. Having found your workout, to modify it, tap on the three dots in the top right corner. Depending on the workout you choose, Apple then suggests a range of goals you can set. So for an outdoor run, for example, we can leave the goal open or set a time goal for how long we want to run for, a distance goal, pace or calories burnt. Again, depending on the exercise, Apple may include various other custom routines. So you can see that the outdoor run workout also includes the option for eight 400 meter repeats and other variations on that theme. If you don't see these custom workouts, it's likely that you have a filter set. So scroll back up to the top of the list and tap on the filter button. Choosing all will display all of the available pre-configured workout options. Now you can edit any of these by tapping on the edit icon in the top right corner. If your customization is simply to set a new goal, tap on the edit icon of your chosen goal and modify it. I want to run for one hour, so I'll edit the time goal to be an hour. You can also set alerts that will notify you during your exercise. These alerts can also be based on different measurements. I want to set an alert to tell me when I'm halfway through my workout. So I've set up a time-based alert to notify me when I've been running for 30 minutes. You can also customize what stats you want to display on your screen during your exercise by tapping on workout views. You can scroll through your current views and edit them by clicking on the button. If your customization requires more detail than just editing the goal, then I suggest scrolling all the way to the bottom of the pre-configured workouts and choosing create workout followed by custom. Here you have the option to add warm up and cool down periods, as well as adding work and recovery periods. However, before doing any of that, I recommend giving your custom workout a name. Having done that, you can then start adding your customizations. The options you see here are all based on the workout you choose. So because I'm customizing the outdoor run, I can set either a distance, time or open goal. Having added workout and or recovery goals, you can then choose to repeat these as many times as you wish. When you're finished, remember to tap Create Workout. Having created your custom workout, it should now appear at the top of your list whenever you open the Workouts app. To create custom workouts that incorporates variations of running, swimming and cycling, Apple has added the multi-sport workout option. If you're wondering how to combine workouts that do not include running, cycling or swimming, well, I'll get to that in just a sec. But for now, if you can't see multi-sport in your list, scroll down to add workout and you'll find it under M. Multi-sport is pre-configured for a triathlon, but if you tap on the three dots, it will display a range of variations on the triathlon theme. So for example, you might prefer to just do a cycle and a run or a swim and a run without the cycling. Tap on the edit icon to modify any of these. You can do things like change the order of the legs, add alerts, which will notify you during an exercise routine, and change what is displayed on screen during your workout. In case you're wondering why you can't set distances and times for the different components of your multi-sport event, well, your Apple Watch will apparently automatically detect when you're running, swimming or cycling, and when you're transitioning between the different legs, which is pretty cool. To create a completely custom multi-sport event, scroll to the bottom of the pre-configured options 
and choose Create Workout. Clicking Add allows you to choose which workouts you want to include. You'll notice that you can only add options for running, swimming and cycling, which is a bit disappointing. To my knowledge, there isn't a way of combining workouts that aren't a combination of these three events. Say, for example, if you wanted to combine running with a gym session. The only way I know to do something like that is to do it manually. The manual method is to start your first workout and when ready to move on to the next workout, swipe right and tap on the plus icon. You can then choose your next workout from the list and away you go. However, there doesn't appear to be a way of saving these combinations, so it's not really ideal. So that is how to create custom workouts on your Apple Watch. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more useful tips and tricks on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in learning 10 iPhone keyboard shortcuts that I guarantee you haven't seen before or a quick way to share a Wi-Fi password. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.